Hey everyone, what's going on? Brett here with Simple Preparedness. Today, I am bringing you a first impressions video. This goes along with the Amp 12 that I'm working on for my EDC bag, eventually. We still got some testing going on on the other ones, but uh, we're working this one out. What we have here is 511 Admin Gear Set. Just came in today and uh, I thought I'd let you know what I think about it right off the bat. I haven't tested it, I haven't loaded it, I haven't done anything with it, but like I said, first impressions. So uh, same color as my bag, that's Kangaroo. What I liked about this was the profile of it. It does look big, but it's a slim profile on it. So it's not gonna stick very far off the front of the bag. Uh, dual zippers, YKK, of course, you know, 511. On the inside, up across the top, you have a zippered pouch. Pretty good size. You have another pouch right below that. Again, pretty good size. And over here on the side, little holder for your keys, little flashlight, whatever you want to put on it. Up here, you have two little spots. Pencil pen, marker pen, whatever. Over here, they say a business card holder. Seems awful small for business cards. I'll go with it though. And right below that, another smaller, just kind of dump pouch thing. On the lid, you have two equal size pouches. Not too bad. It, it's good material. Again, you know, it's it's 511. The material's good. Let's get in the other side of this, though. The backing is all Velcro. And again, you have... I saved this so y'all could see this. That is just lined up, sweet, beautiful. Looks good. Again, it's that thin little material. See, even that little corner I pulled off is already starting to bend, stretch, deform. It is not gonna go back right. Once you pull that little bit off, Dude, I could probably sit here and make a 20, 30, 45 minute video out of this, trying to get that line to right back up the way it should be. It's never gonna be right. 511, stop skimping, man. I mean, come on, you're the big boys in the game. They could have taken just a little thin sheet of neoprene and just put it on there so that this would hold its shape. Because the second I rip this off, it'll never look that pretty again. Something over top of that, you know? Smash them together, thin little piece of neoprene or something. So it can hold its shape and you can slap it back on there without having to spend hours and hours trying to get it perfect, which you never will. Uh, other than that, we got something else here. <clears throat> According to the little video on their website, this is their little storage pouches here. They're vertical storage pouches. They say good for carrying gear, good for carrying rifle magazines. 
Let's test that theory out real quick. Here, I got two PMAG 30s. As you can see, they are empty. These are 30 round magazines. Very, very light. I think both of these together may weigh as much as my, my solar charger. I just want to show you here. I didn't slip around in. There's no rounds up in the top. Other one. No rounds up in the top. These are completely empty magazines. Awesome. So we put our magazines in these pouches that they say, you know, you can put rifle magazines in there. Absolutely, they fit. Now, we got two magazines in here. This is hanging on my bag. Well, I may be in a situation where, I don't know about y'all, but if I'm out walking around and stuff, I'm not in the habit of sitting my bag on the ground. I don't want my bag on the ground. So I hang my whole bag. If I'm near a tree, I'll hang it on a stump or something like that. I put it somewhere where it's off the ground. But if a situation comes up and my bag is somewhere where it's not on the ground, you know, it's kind of up a little bit. There's nothing here in front of it. You know, maybe I'll get lucky. I'll have it on a bench or something and there'll be something in front of here. But if this is hanging on my bag and I'm in a rush, I'm trying to get to my magazines. My magazines are loaded. The one that I have in my rifle is empty. I need to switch it out. I open up my bag. I'm in a rush. I just dropped my magazines on the ground. These are two empty magazines. What about loaded magazines? What if I have my solar charger in here, my cell phone in here, I'm not thinking about it, I zip it open, there goes my solar charger and my cell phone. Little piece of something here to here, here to here. So if that kind of holds out a little bit, so it creates like a little shelf. I know they do have the utility nine by nine that has those on there. And when you open it up, it creates a shelf. It has something inside of it. that's actually kind of sturdy and it creates a shelf. They didn't do it with this. So putting something heavy in there, like a charger, a phone, something like that. If you're not thinking about it and your bag doesn't have something right here, your junk's hitting the ground, period. Again, 511. It's a nice pouch, but the thought behind it, not very good. Uh, I'm gonna try it. I'm not gonna knock it yet. Like I said, these are first impressions, but right off the bat, there's more cons than there are pros to this. I mean, I do like the, the slim profile on it. Just gonna have to be careful what we put in the front here. So that changes everything that I was thinking about. Because I got this mainly to stick my charger and stuff right here. That's perfect size. But I'm not going to jeopardize my charger, which costs a hell of a lot more than this little bag. Not going to happen. That was just poor planning. And again, with the little 
stuff right here. Not good, guys. Not very good. Don't get me wrong, I like 511. I have a few of their bags now. I have their pants, I have their belts. Those videos are coming up. I love the pants, good Lord. But uh, there we go. That is my first impressions of 511 Admin Gear Set. We'll see how it works. I don't know, but uh, that backing's gonna have to come off. If you actually put some weight in this and you have this backing on here, they have the attachments for up here. If you put this inside the bag and you don't take this backing off, it'll be doing that inside your bag. On the outside of the bag, you can put it on like that. These can actually connect to the comp compression straps, which will hold it in. But if you don't connect these on the outside of your bag, it's gonna be doing that. So that little backing's gonna have to come off so you can use that Velcro. 511, think about it guys. I mean, I love y'all. You got some good gear, but come on, man. Invest a couple dollars, you know, put a little neoprene thing there. That would have helped that. Put two little cheap straps on there, raise the price $3. Who cares? And that would have made this a pretty decent little pouch. But there we go, guys. That is just my views, my opinions, and my first impression. How it's gonna work out once I get everything loaded up and out in the field and doing stuff with it, I don't know. But like I said, my first impressions, my opinions, this is just me. I'm not saying don't buy this, I'm not doing anything. 511 does not sponsor me in any way, shape, or form. All this comes out of my pocket, so. You are getting a true and honest first impression video and later a review. But there we go, guys. Uh, that's all I got for you right now. Hope you all are doing good. Hope you all are going to enjoy the rest of your weekend. Um, again, thank you, everyone. I appreciate everybody that's out there. Um, please, if you like the videos, subscribe share, like, if you want, hit that little bell over in the corner there, get updates every time I put out a new video. Other than that, guys, that's all I got for you today. Um, one more thing, if y'all hadn't noticed, I'm starting to wear a hat here, past few videos. This is the uh, Wazoo Cash Cap, Cache Cap wherever you're from, however you want to pronounce it, whatever. I'm not a big hat guy. I'm actually enjoying this hat and testing it out. Y'all probably know a bit about these hats, so you know it's not just a hat, but we'll get into that later on. So as always, my friends, be safe, be prepared. We'll holler at you later.